Good morning, everyone. Welcome. It's Thursday, June 23rd. Can't believe it's coming up on the last parts of June already. So, um, devotion today from Christ Near Home is entitled 26 Million. Hmm. Based on Psalm 16. So let's read Psalm 16 and find out where we get a story about 26 million. Protect me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, you are my Lord. I have no good apart from you. As for the holy ones in the land, they are the noble, in whom is all my delight. Those who choose another God multiply their sorrows. Their drink offerings of blood I will not pour out or take their names upon my lips. The Lord is my chosen portion and my cup. You hold my lot. The boundary lines have fallen for me in pleasant places. I have a goodly heritage. I bless the Lord who gives me counsel. In the night also my heart instructs me. I keep the Lord always before me. Because he is at my right hand, I shall not be moved. Therefore my heart is glad and my soul rejoices. My body also rests secure. For you do not give me up to Sheol. Or let your faithful ones see the pit. You show me the path of life. In your presence there is fullness of joy. In your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Word of God, word of life. And yes, good morning, Karen. And so, it's today's devotion for, uh, is focused on verse 1. Protect me, O God, for in you I take refuge. Refugees stream through the story of my life. People fleeing Idi Amin's Panja machete in Uganda, destruction in Vietnam, warfare, warfare in Bosnia and Serbia, horrific violence in Sudan and South Sudan. Today, 26 million people are refugees fleeing life-threatening persecution. Half our children. As I write this, Afghans, desperate for refuge, are swelling that demographic. Over the years, I've waited anxiously for strangers to make their weary way from planes to a group of excited people in the baggage area. Lutheran Immigration and Refugee Service brought them to us. Their, fil excuse me, their fearful faces turned to smiles when, weeks later, they believed that we were for real. We would protect them. We would provide food and shelter. We would help the kids get to school. We would help them find jobs. We would love these children of God, whether they are Christian, Buddhist, or Muslim. We wouldn't abandon them. Our community would become a home for them, a refuge just as God's grace was a home and ref refuge for the psalmist and is so for us. Please join me in prayer. Lord Jesus, you who were a refugee, our hearts are glad that we can help those who are fleeing death. Amen. And the prayer concern for today is for people fleeing persecution. So, Thank you for joining me today. Um, I understand you'll get Pastor Dale or Pastor Dale, Pastor Adam on Friday. So we will see you next week. Farewell. Blessings on your day.